Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to another styling video. My name is Hilda Gloria. Thank you so much for tuning in. If today is your first time, make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below so that you are notified when I post a new video. Now, in today's video, I am going to show you what I packed for Spain. Now, to be particular, I went to Barcelona for six days and I wanted to show you what I wore while in Barcelona, to what, to where, when and all the good stuff. Without further ado, let's get into the outfits. First of all, I'd like to get into my outfit of the day. I'd like to show you a little bit up close. I am wearing these gorgeous Africa map earrings that I got recently from Uganda. Uh, my shirt is from Shane. If you watched my Shane haul, you must have seen it, my Shane summer haul. It is from there. It was about 11 euros and my skirt was gifted to me and the owner told me she bought it from uh, she bought it from a local boutique in Italy. It has gorgeous pockets, which is why I love it. It is a maxi skirt and very elastic on the waist area. I just made a note on the front for the shirt and this is what it looks like on the front and the back. So I am wearing this with my African sandals that I bought still from Uganda. And I wore this to, you know, have a stroll at the beach on one of the evenings while in Barcelona. Before I forget, I am going to link everything that I am wearing or that I'm going to show you down in the description box below in case you want to go ahead and buy them. If they're still available and if they're not, I am going to link similar outfits down in the description box for you. First outfit is my airport outfit, which I will always look for, which I always look for comfort. I wore this short dress. It is from Zara. Don't worry if it's creased right now. I just picked it out from the suitcase. But anyways, I wore this and a white vest from Zara and Bermuda shorts also from Zara. Then for the shoes, I wore these comfortable sandals that I've been wearing all summer that I got from Media Pieri. It is a store in Italy. I'm going to link similar ones down in the description box below. I must say that it is very comfortable. I am wearing the same outfit back to the airport it's just that um i will wear a black bodysuit underneath instead of a white one as i think a white one is now dirty uh yes so that is my airport outfit very comfortable and very practical next is the outfit that i wore on the afternoon and the evening in barcelona once i got there on that very day um i wore this set this is just the top but I, it has a skirt and it's a set that i got from asos about two years ago i wore this for my birthday if you watched my birthday vlog you must have seen this or if you follow me on instagram you must have seen it i wore this to a rooftop beautiful bar in barcelona for a solo dinner it was nice and green i literally just googled um outfit i mean i just i, I literally just googled bars or restaurants with you know green aesthetic near me and you know this lovely restaurant popped up and it just matched my outfit i love it if you follow me on instagram you definitely have seen this outfit already it was very comfortable very chic and for the shoes i still wore my airport sandals they are very comfortable and easy to walk in and easy to run with the following day, I wore this gorgeous linen shirt from Zara. I've had it for about two or three years. It's very gorgeous and stunning. I was very smart. Now I paired it with a white pair of shorts. And they were high waist like kind of shorts. Very stunning and the contrasting effect between the green and white was just nice and crispy again. Against the blue Spanish sky was just amazing so i wore this to you know take a day trip around barcelona i jumped on a hop on and off bus to see you know most of the popular touristic attractions in spain it was very comfortable it did the job and you know was really nice in the photos i paired the outfit with this gorgeous basket bag that i've had for about four years i think and um, it was, you know, a cute outfit. The bag is very spacious. It carried the map, the headsets, my phones, selfie stick, everything. It's the only bag that I brought that is, you know, big and to use around. And 
it is very very handy i'm going to link similar ones down in the description box below in case you want to go ahead and shop them also it folds really well if you want to pack right now it's empty has nothing and it folds really well you can fold it nicely and just throw it into your cabin bag the following day i had a wedding to attend and this was my wedding guest dress it is a very gorgeous dress i had it tailored in uganda for me by a tailor called Linda Aguedo. She's a good friend of mine of Highland Fashions. I'm going to link her account in the description box below. She makes really nice custom made dresses. And this one has pockets. I love that it has a pink and orange contrast. So, you know, as the air blew the dress, it was just nicely flowing with the orange and pink mixing together. It was a really, really good mix. I received lots of compliments on this and it fits really, really nicely. I am looking forward to wearing it again. It is a gorgeous dress. I would highly, highly, highly recommend, you know, checking her account out and, you know, asking her to make you a dress. She's made me lots of other dresses that I love. Since it was going to be a summer wedding and, you know, the bride warned me in advance, she said it's going to be really hot. This was good, um, letting lots of air, and it was smart and beautiful at the same time. Now, one thing I do not like to wear at weddings are very, very long dresses. They are very smart and elegant, but if I have to walk around holding the dress all the time, that's uncomfortable for me. So this was a good choice. And because I have a big phone, my phone does not fit in the clutch. I put it in the pocket always and anything else that I wanted, um, you know, to get rid of from my hands was in the pockets, which is amazing, gorgeous lovely let me know in the comment section what you guys think so the other option was this dress like the wedding guest option was this dress i don't know i just wanted to have two dresses just to be safe in case anything happened i had two dresses anyways i wanted to wear this this is from shane it's long very very elegant fits like a glove beautiful i mean it is one of my favorite dresses but I wasn't sure about the length and, you know, being um, so revealing in the bust area. It is gorgeous. It's very sexy. It shows leg, uh, bust and back. But I wasn't very, very sure about it. So I chose the other one. Let me know in the comment section which one you would have chosen. This one or the one that I wore. The following day, I wore these amazing mom jeans that I got from Zara. The color is like mint green. I would recommend carrying a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings on any trip because they are really handy in doing errands. When I had to transfer from the accommodation of the wedding to the seaside accommodation, I wore these on the train and I quickly just threw this on in case I wanted to go to the supermarket and do something or go run down and grab a coffee. I always wore these jeans. So I would recommend, you know, packing a pair of shorts or comfortable jeans or leggings or, you know, a simple dress that is, I would say, an errand outfit. And I packed it, of course, I was wearing it with lots of basic tops. I wore it with a black bodysuit, with a blue bodysuit, with a white vest, with a shirt. I mean, it has been very, very handy, so I would recommend as you plan your outfits, just throw in one basic and have several different basic tops to complement it, or that could easily be one with it for, you know, errands or, I don't know, anything could happen to your outfits and you just have that one thing to help save the day. And also sometimes when planning outfits, I always think every day is going to be, you know, bomb after bomb after bomb. But the down days are on holiday when you just want to do nothing and just want to like slow it down. So this could be a good outfit in case you just want to go out of a hotel room to get, you know, fresh air and walk around. Always carry an errand outfit. Next outfit that I wore is this gorgeous bodysuit that you all love. I shared this at the beginning of the summer it's from shane and i received lots of compliments and lots of you run to actually shop it um it is what i wore on the night um, that i transferred and this gorgeous yellow orange scarf from zara it's old it's about four years as well it's a very cute but simple look i wore it to just walk around mataro which is the city that i transferred to by the seaside and um it's just cute. 
um, I wait to just see around the city, see what it looks like at night. Check. The following day I wore this Zara skirt, but I wore it as a sarong or like a wrap around a bathing suit as I was going to, you know, the beach. I wore that with a hat, the only hat that I brought. Uh, it's from Saint Bath. I'll, I'll link a, I'll link a similar one down in the description box below. But yeah, um, it was a fun outfit. I loved it, and of course, paired it with my sandals that I've been wearing all summer and the only beach bag or the only straw bag that I brought. Now, I also packed extra bathing suits because I mean, just in case, I knew I was supposed to plan. I knew I was supposed to. I, I knew I was supposed to spend three days at the seaside. So yes, I packed three bathing suits, even though I didn't really wear all of them. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how they fit and you know what I had planned to wear and how I had planned to wear them. This black bodysuit, this black bathing suit is one of my faves. I got it from Zafu about five years ago and it still is good quality. It still looks nice and fits perfectly. So I paired it with this throw on that I got from Sully Chic. She is a Ugandan designer as well. It is a two-piece set. Um, it, it is a two-piece set that has, you know, trousers. I wore it well in Uganda, so you're going to see it in my, you know, Uganda vlog that is coming soon. But um, for this trip, I just wore the throw on and, you know, wore it with shorts and, you know, the bathing suit and I was ready for the beach. Last but not least is this gorgeous slip dress that I wore to a fancy dinner on Sunday, the last day in Spain. And um, I mean, we love dresses. It's, you know, lovely pink. And I put on a blazer just to make it look more elegant, but I just wore it over the shoulders so that, um, you know, it isn't so hot for me. In any case, it was already hot out there, but then I just wanted to add an extra accessory. And of course, I wore it with my Zara flats that I got as a gift from a friend. Um, they are gold and I added golden accessories and I was good to go. Let me know in the comment section which outfit is your favorite. Uh, leave me a comment um, in case you liked any of the outfits. Let me know which one is more of your style, which one you would easily wear. And um, I'll see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, Come on, hit the red subscribe button down below so that you are notified when I post a new video. So that so that you are notified when I post new videos. Bye bye.